Good morning. Happy Thursday. You made it past some day. You only got two more work days to go unless you're an auditor. Ha <laughs> ha, zing! That's a joke, kids. That's a joke. Sometimes. Some auditors have to work at being auditors, like a news down ashtray, who's apparently trying to beg up a new car. Because, well, why not? Uh, apparently... Ooh, ducks. Duck, 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 duck. Apparently, uh, Ozark Hillbilly is dying, and uh, that's terrible. Uh, but he's giving away his, his fortune in the meantime. And uh, he's giving it away to auditors, so whoever begs the hardest wins, right? So uh, I applaud you, News Now Ashtray, for going for the gusto. Um, You know, El Jefe is in it to win it, as is Brian King, and many others, many others. But uh, yeah, right now, uh, right now we got a we got a beg for a car going on, so that's that's good stuff. I apologize if today's rambling while well, one's going to be a little more rambly than normal. A lot of little things rattling around the old dome. Um. In response to a video of mine, uh, what's it go by? Rappin' Boomer, Snidely Whiplash, uh, Active Poofter, the uh, the liar who claims that he was magna cum laude from law school, from some law school or the other. I don't know. Claims to have scored in the top 10% of all uh, bar exams, whatever. Lion, a liar. He's a liar. Just like the all the other... YouTube comment section lawyers. Anyway, he he states in response to my position that uh, these guys don't understand the law, and that's probably why they're in the position they're in. He, of course, comes up with examples that, in his mind, show that they do understand the law, and that, uh, you know, obviously, obviously I've had my point rebutted and I tell him he's wrong. And then he tells me, uh, uh, basically something along the lines of, okay, well show me where I was wrong. And then I responded to him, you're the magna cum laude. You figure it out. Oh, well, you've got nothing. Then he says, Jesus Christ, dude, it's so fucking obvious. I didn't think I'd have to do this. I didn't even think a non- a person who doesn't claim to be a lawyer would need this level of hand-holding. His first, his first claim is that Earl in Pineville didn't commit a crime and therefore didn't have to ID and therefore his arrest was unlawful and that somehow the police and the DA and the judge all got the law wrong but active poof or the magna cum laude, he's the smart one. He's the one who knows it all, right? First of all, you have to identify what Earl was arrested for. Uh, he was he was arrested for failing to obey a lawful order of a police officer who's engaged in the course of his duties. That's what he was arrested for. Now, assuming arguendo that there is an obligation in uh, Louisiana that you have to ID. Well, so he was wrong. He doesn't even know what what the the arrest was for. It wasn't a it wasn't a failure to ID necessarily it was a much broader statute he doesn't have any idea of the general context of it or how it's been interpreted he's just he's just making a blanket assumption that it was a failure to id arrest and the earl doesn't have to id if he didn't commit a crime no no id requirements in any state ever require you to have actually committed a crime in order to id if there is a statute on the books that requires you to ID, it either requires you to ID for reasonable suspicion or under arrest. Those are the only two places it requires you to ID, neither of which state you have to have committed a crime. Dummy. The cop has to have reasonable suspicion. The crime's afoot for reasonable suspicion. You may or may not have committed it at that point. He is investigating to determine whether or not he thinks there's probable cause that you committed the crime. 
if it's a probable cause standard, if he, if he has to be putting you under arrest or writing you a ticket at that point, again, that doesn't mean you committed a crime. It means he has to have probable cause that you committed a crime. It's more likely than not that a crime was committed and that you committed it. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, he gave two examples uh, from Freeman as well. Uh, the first Freeman was that Freeman didn't understand geography. Um, well, I don't think that that arrest is going to stick, personally. Um, and I don't think it was a geography issue. If you look at all the uh, relevant rules like USV Grace, you dummy... You would know that if it's indistinguishable from a normal public sidewalk, and if you look at flowers, etc., then you could make a very strong argument, legally speaking, that he was legally in the right. But did he understand any of that, is the question. That's the question. And the third thing is the uh, arrest in of, of uh, Freeman in... Leon Valley. Did Freeman misunderstand the law there? Well, Freeman thinks that if somebody makes comments, then then that's the, the thing. If somebody makes a comment about having posted, you know, a public officials, police officers, whatever, name, address, phone number, then that is that is on the channel owner. That channel owner is gonna get arrested and thrown in jail. And that's not the case. As you may be well aware, I had uh, somebody, Earl snitched on it, apparently. Somebody posted Judge Peavy's name, address, and phone number in my comment section. I never deleted it. I never deleted it. I think YouTube may have. I think people may have reported it or something. But I never deleted it, and it was reported. And guess what happened to me? Fucking nothing. He misunderstands the law. You misunderstand the law. But speaking of misunderstanding the law, just to further nail this point home, uh, Freeman released a video titled on the thumbnail, Why Isn't Salvaggio in Jail Yet? Uh, because, you fucking idiot, he didn't commit a crime. The underlying video is just a, a news clip about a sheriff and a sheriff's deputy and a lieutenant or something like that that... Falsely arrested a man. Now, falsely arrested is different than arresting someone who didn't commit a crime or who's found to be not guilty. They're, they're, they're different. The, there was no probable cause for the arrest. There was no probable cause for the arrest. There's a big difference. In, in Freeman's case, probable cause was found. That's, that's, that's a big oopsie. A warrant has issued for his Google account. Probable cause exists, kids. According to judges, probable cause exists. That's difference number one. You pee? Okay, come on. Come on. All right, probable cause number two. Or, I'm sorry, uh, distinction number two. Uh, the deputies, the sheriffs, came back and took exculpatory evidence. They fabricated a warrant, or they fabricated probable cause for a warrant. They came back and they took the cell phone that showed the exculpatory information. That's a big difference. They lied. They lied on their reports. They claimed that the, uh, the guy they arrested was swearing and interfering and he came off the property and blah, blah, blah. There's perjury involved. Lots of differences between what, what Salvaggio has done and what this guy did. This is what I'm talking about. They don't understand the law. There is a difference between arresting someone who turns out to be not guilty and falsely arresting something. Um, um, fal falsely or unlawfully arresting someone. There is a difference. There is a big difference. I am, I am guessing that Salvaggio actually thinks that a crime was committed and he actually thinks that Freeman is involved in it. 
And to the best of my knowledge, Salvaggio hasn't fabricated evidence. He hasn't held anybody for three days without a bond hearing or anything like that. He didn't, he didn't send people to steal things, to fabricate warrants and, and steal exculpatory evidence. To the best of my knowledge, none of those things have happened. And if they have, well, then, then guess what? Guess what, Mr. James Freeman? Guess who's going to put Salvaggio in jail? Mr. James Freeman. Mr. The Police are Tyrants. Guess, who's go guess who will protect you if, in fact, Salvaggio did something wrong? Just like that guy in, what was it, South Carolina? Just like he was protected? Police will protect you. That's the that's the end result of it. Oh, oh, John, you just you think the police can do no wrong? Uh, you know, I get this I get this straw man all the time. I I think in the Fort Huachuca case, it was what Freeman was doing was lawful. I don't think he was arrested properly. I don't think I don't think what he was doing was illegal. But I can understand the argument that the DA will make. I can understand the thought process of the cops. I didn't see him doing anything untoward. I mean, it's, it's okay for reasonable minds to reasonably d differ about where the bounds of the law are. That's why we have judges. That's why we have courts. That's why we have juries. I have not ever said, I personally think that that roundup thing that Salvaggio did, I've stated this on multiple times, I don't think he has a leg to stand on on that. But I realize I haven't seen all the evidence. When he rounded up all those, all the uh, quote unquote witnesses, all the protesters, I don't think he has a leg to stand on. But we'll see. I don't have all the evidence. So I hope people can understand that slight distinction between uh, falsely arresting someone and arresting someone who turns out later to be innocent or not guilty, I should say. Big difference. Big difference. Anyway. Anyway, I hope that maybe that was a little bit helpful. Um, once again, be very wary of all the idiots who like to give legal advice in comment sections. You can't vet them. You don't know who they are. Posting under... Dumbass screen names. Just, just a word of word of advice. Anybody can be a magna cum laude juris doctorate in the comment section. I mean, we got right to record in there, claiming to uh, have graduated from law school. There's some auditor who claims to have gone to law school at. Uh, I think Tennessee or Baylor yeah Baylor we just you just can't tell anyway thanks for watching stay safe try not to get arrested